Come on! Come on! That nigga's a little bit confused. Goodbye! Hurry up and get those herbs. Okay, full of beasts. Not to worry, I'm sure my arts will work. Hang in there, Namar. Cove. It should be all the way down this path. I haven't left the village too many times, so I've never taken it. Still, I've heard about it plenty from passing travelers, so this should be the right way. Look at that! Mm, this might be a little drastic, but it's all I can come up with. How's this? All right! Are you ready for this? Great! It worked just like I imagined it would. Hurry! These stones... I should be able to jump between them. Oh. Yes! I can do it! Morley always says... You don't look like you're good at sportsy stuff. So I'm not gonna let you join in. And things like that. Even I can do this much. I mean... It's not like I want to play those war games. War, though. Cuisine's such a quiet little village. They say that if you go far enough towards the border, you'll see battlefields spread far and wide. I'd hate to see someone I know get hurt. I'd even hate to see someone I don't know get hurt. You're too persistent! How's this? Please don't touch me! so useless at the clinic. I didn't know about beast-dependent treatments. I always want to make the right call, but I still have so much to learn before I can get to that point. About my patients, about herbs, and about beasts, too. I can't be held down here. I can't be held down here. Here we go! Attack! Beginning to show up near the village now. That almost never happened before. Be 
hell down here? Stay back! This many just outside the village? Maybe it's not that the beasts never came around, so much as it's that Namar and the other villagers always kept them from coming inside. And then, to keep me and the kids from getting scared, they lied about their injuries, calling them work accidents. And there's really no defending myself. I need to think about my patience more. down here I can't be held down here here we go do this kind of thing, and they hide the real reason they got hurt, just to avoid getting scolded by their parents. I guess grown-ups aren't that different, either for their own sakes, or to protect the people around them. They're all too quick to hide their true feelings. I'm living my life honestly, aren't I? Oh, this is a welcome gift. If I'm careful, I should be fine, I think. But I can't exactly take my time. Just have to do my best. I won't forgive you for what you've done!
bit scary. I thought if I hadn't been turned back now, then I could never be proud of my work. Huh? I hope you're watching over me. Get through here. I'll get a little wet, but that's not a big deal. Will this come off in the wash? Yeah. I think I'm pretty far from the village now. And I still don't see any cave coming up. Being outside of the village like this? It's surprisingly different from how I pictured it. Going off of what I'd heard and read in books. Experience really is the key to everything. I wish I could have more first-hand experiences like this. Once I get back, I should talk to Grandpa about it. a big school, I might be able to learn more about the world there. I could meet all sorts of kids my age. Maybe we could even share our lunches. They'd say, oh, Michelle, your food looks good. Can I have some? Stuff like that. <laughs> but wait, that's not what school's really like, is it? It has to be more serious than that and share lunches with my friends in the village. into the cave with this here. Time for some art. I 
expected it to be all dark and dreary. This is so pretty. I wish Doma could see it too. But no. There's too much danger on the way here. I can't let anything happen to her and her baby. Doma's will be so cute. I hope she'll let me hold the baby. Well, before that, I might end up being the midwife, huh? Uh, that's a lot of responsibility. I better step up, I guess. Once they start walking around, they can stumble into trouble and hurt themselves so easily. That poor Doma must be on edge all the time. I wonder about my parents. Maybe they felt the same way when I was born. should examine the shrine over there. I think the door will open if I pray here and fill the shrine with mana. In that case... Operating on a badly injured patient? This isn't all that mentally taxing after all. And there's a trick to how I think about these beasts. If I picture them as struggling patients that I need to restrain, I'm not so hesitant to act. barbaric than I thought? I mean, I don't want to think I am. When I scold uncooperative patients, sometimes they say, Well, Michelle, you're even scarier than Ollie. 
and stuff like that, so... Uh... Right! This is no time to dwell on that! We need to focus on finding those herbs. How's this? that rumor Namar mentioned about some Federation troops being spotted recently I haven't seen any of them so far today but if they came to start up a battle somewhere nearby that could be a serious problem though if they're good people I wouldn't mind some help gathering herbs and I could ask them about other Federation lands too take this here we go attack with all these beasts around. Maybe I should focus on dispatching them first. any of those herbs yet. Uh, but Grandpa said they'd be here, so I know they will be. I can't be held down here. Grandpa's angry with me. I just flew out the door without his permission. I may be in for a scolding when I get back, like... No leaving the village or this house anymore. What'll I do if he says that? down here. worry about that right now. A person's life is riding on this. There's nothing more important than that. Grandpa should understand. He might be worried about me, but I'll be fine. I think my arts are, well, kind of strong. How's this? This is better. 
better. why I can cast this type of art. Did I inherit it from my parents? Um, Dad... How come I never... No, no. I don't have time for that. I need to keep moving. Once I defeat these beasts. Closer look. Mm -hmm. This is the herb. I'm so glad it's here. Now to hurry and get it back to the village. What? Where'd all of you come from? There's no way. I can't fight them all. Not by myself. Wait. No. Come on. It would be wrong for me to give up now. I've got the herbs, and I'm getting them back to Grandpa. I'm gonna save Namar. That's my mission! Right, well said! Huh? Who are you? We can talk later! I'll take on this half of them. You get the rest. Can you do it? Yes! Yes! I can! That's the spirit! Let's go! By the looks of it, your fighting style is based around using arts. It is, yes! Right. I'll take point then. You can back me up. That strategy sound good to you? Just fine! I'll do my best! Held down here. Purifying, Jane Grey. What is this? 
be held down here. Yes, we managed to beat them all. Thank you so much for saving me. Um... Oh, right. I never gave you my name. It's Grace. Grace Manil. Oh, well, I'm Michelle. Michelle Bouquet. Are you, um, in the military, Grace? Yes, that's technically true, but I'm actually a... Uh, but enough about me. Didn't you have an urgent mission to complete? Oh, of course! I need to get these herbs back to the clinic. Right. That sounds pretty important. I suggest you get moving. Thanks again for all the help, Grace. Oh, that's all right. I'm just happy to run into someone who's truly kind. This is the first time it's happened in a while. So farewell, my beautiful and courageous friend. Goodbye, and thank you! Captain! So this is where you've been. Sheesh, what's your problem? You're always running off solo. Sorry, sorry. I heard someone call for help and ran towards them. You know, you're not the heroine of some adventure tale. Oh, don't be like that. The fact of the matter is, this mission of ours isn't half as noble as hers. I just needed a break. I'll admit, this job's really... depressing. <laughs> isn't it, though? I mean, what could possibly be worse? Than going around, slaughtering all these innocent people. 